Okay guys, welcome back. Another exciting day with Tesla. Here we are uh, trading with Tesla and uh, it's been a pretty strong um, pre-hours. Uh, so we're opening at two and a half percent up for Tesla. But so far we can see that we're having a decline. And what I expect it uh, was that that was going to happen so what i did is i set a sell order although i might be mistaken because i can see it's still going up and this is when you buy i just sold just in case and that was probably silly of me but i can see that's turning around we'll see uh, so far what i'll do is show you the orders i have so uh, sell I already sold and we'll see the transaction that went through. I'll just put Tesla, I'll filter by Tesla, that way you only see Tesla. We can see already, look, this is showing us the day. So we're starting pretty good. It's the beginning, so it's always a bit of a hype at the beginning. And uh, if we check out for transactions, again, sorry, that's loading, but pretty slow. So we sold Tesla today, okay, at 4.40.90. Uh, okay, we sold three, a small amount. And as you can see here, I set different levels. I did the triangle, inverse triangle to buy and a bigger triangle uh, to sell. So how does that work? Uh, basically, you want to buy less at a higher price and more at the lower price so you do a triangle like this let's say as the price goes up okay higher pri uh, lower price you buy more and the inverse for selling okay you wanna sell the most here at the bottom at the highest price so nine at nine uh, 512 nine at 507 eight a 502 okay so um and why do we do these increments because there's fluctuations all the time so at the end you have to uh, diversify the fluctuations and you never know what's going to happen most likely we won't reach here uh, within two or three days probably and uh, we may never reach there because look at this 512 so uh, and as we are doing this we're buying and selling uh, all the time so let's go back and check how is tesla doing starting to go down so 439 which is almost opening 439 that's the price we sold for more or less so the idea would be to buy a 434 which was one percent low uh, down from opening price and uh, 4.33, I put that one to uh, play with it. So uh, we'll see. As the stock moves, we'll adapt this too. As we get closer, we'll put the price lower to see if we can gain the, the, the shares at a uh, sell price, let's say. So we have here some um, budget that we can use. And that might be because we sold some shares at opening because we have uh, like uh, until execution uh, execution orders so uh, i can see we sold kiddel tenet santander okay we sold many i oh, know sorry this is yesterday so kiddel we sold it that's that was pretty good that means we made five percent profit here so uh, and that gives us a pretty good uh, ah, okay we sold tesla also so uh, normally we should have 2,400, we only have 1,500. Strange, probably, sometimes it doesn't update directly, it takes a, a little bit of time, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was to buy uh, Facebook today. Why am I buying Facebook? Oh my God, look at that, it's skyrocketing already. But uh, the reason being is that uh, it's in a turning point. In the monthly, the way I, I normally do it, I check the MACD in the monthly basis. And I can see it has been turning, 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 and today is crossing. 
So for me, that's a, a buy moment. And potential wise, if we check uh, the previous or the last um, high point it had, uh, we had uh, we have uh, uh, a possibility from today's price to go. Oops, I wanted to click, not just drag. Sorry about that again. Oh my God, I'm so clumsy. So I'll do the other way around. Uh, let's see. That looks like it's higher three. 03 from today which is more or less it's already higher up that's an 11 percent uh, potential i don't i'm not saying we're going to reach there uh, we only need five percent so that's that's our target if we manage to make five percent we're good so let's buy uh, facebook and we'll buy 10 for example so we'll do fb come on and we want to buy Let's check at what price. So I go back to the five day and then I change into the minute. I want to see precisely at what level we are right now. And it might be too late to buy. Uh, we have to wait until it falls. Hopefully it won't go too high up. But look at this, this hype, the difference. It's so high. I mean, it got red, which means that it's starting to turn around. But we could already set some um, different levels of, uh, of of pricing increments. Okay, so let's imagine that we go down all the way to uh, this level, uh, two sixty five twelve. Okay, uh, we could do probably a little bit higher, two sixty five thirty or fifty. Okay. 265 and we'll do one at that price we buy one at 265.50 we could actually do two directly we buy two and i'm gonna write that down 265.50 then we want one percentage lower so the next one we're gonna buy three at 262.87 okay let's make it very accurate now we can round it up. So then we would buy three at 262.87. That's 263. I put 02 like that. It's a day order. Why do I put the 02? If someone would round it up and say 263, I have more chances to get this one than the other person. That's it. Um, it's a personal thing I do. And then uh, what we're going to do, if we do another divide about 0, 1, uh, we can do by 4, come on, by 4 at, sorry about that, the garbage truck is there, 260, okay, 50, 260, 50, to round it up. There we go. And we have all our... Um, orders for Facebook. We're gonna filter by Facebook here. Facebook, and we're gonna sort in increasing order. So we have some already set to be sold at this level, more at a higher level, and then we're buying at one price, then cheaper, a little one more, and then one more extra if it's cheaper. Doesn't mean we're going to get anything. Now we'll check on it. We'll keep an eye. I see it's turning. That's a good sign. But it should turn all the way to here. That's our target. More or less 265.50. 265.50. There you have it. We could draw a line. Okay. We could draw a, a horizontal line. Or we can draw a trend. How far away are we from our target? 265. Okay, now I have a little alarm. 10 minutes after opening. 265.50. Already it's trying to go back up. 265.50. Okay, that's a lot lower than I thought. But we're more or less... Okay, almost nothing is like 0.33% away 
from our target and actually at the moment so we're a, a quarter percent uh, away from our target we could already lower the target if we think uh, but this look at this it's already trying to go back up so probably we're gonna buy a new one we'll do one at this level here more or less 266.26 okay we'll do a new purchase order we leave the ones we have mm, and at least we want to buy two at 266.26 but we're at 267 sorry we're already at 267 guys this thing just took off 267 you know what i'll go for three because i can see this is gonna take off a lot quicker than expected and there we go 267 it probably just went through directly and we'll check that out i don't see it here so normally still even go through okay forget about this it's a problem with this platform it's having some technical issues and uh, 267 16 so normally our order should have gone through by now so if we do facebook i don't see it anymore do you see it <laughs> i don't see any facebook there we go so we bought at least three units and uh, which was a bit the idea for today to buy some facebook um, we can leave this the way it is right now okay and if it goes lower automatically it will buy and sell okay let's check tesla we have the same situation here tesla oh no sorry i'm in transactions and i don't want to be in transactions. i want to be in orders outstanding orders for tesla and we can see everything that we have set up here and we're going to check where we are in reality and uh, it's like it's just moving sideways it's moving around the 200 moving average i can see that it's trying to turn but the green one should cross the yellow one so that's the five moving average and that's the 13 in order to do a turning direction back up and to cross <coughs> to cross the 200 moving average today i also wanted to buy some more slack technologies work ticker symbol work and uh, i see that it took off i doubt that we bought anything i didn't see any, anything in the transactions so probably we'll have to wait and see how it goes we already had many positions this is one of our biggest uh, stocks in the portfolio uh, after tesla so we're gonna do that we're gonna check slack we open and see which are the standing orders outstanding orders and we just write down here slack and we wanted to buy nine at 26.85 in one shot uh, and that never happened so we could actually or eventually cancel this and do a pyramidal uh, incremental purchase uh, strategy like we did with facebook and uh, for example we could say that now is going up so it's difficult to calculate you know uh, at what level to buy then you have to modify them so what we could do is uh, set more or less from where we are now let's see it drops one percent and we start buying there so it would be il uh, 27 11 and uh, we would buy we can the, the budget was to buy nine so we can buy for example uh, let's see it would be two and at 27 11 okay we leave it like that then we buy three at a lower price 
because we're buying more, and one percentage down, 26.85. And then we buy four at 26.58, which I doubt we will reach this level. Excuse me. I doubt we'll reach that level. It's, it sounds like a, I have here this thing is sticking out. Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, so what next? Shall we uh, do Apple? Uh, I think I set also a few uh, orders. I see it's falling down and I'm pretty sure this would be a good moment to buy some. So let's check Apple. We have here uh, Tesla, Facebook, Apple. And I'm pretty sure we bought some already. Look at that. Oh my God, did I? <laughs> we bought six at this price. How can it be? So many. Oh, I forgot. I think I did something. Okay, now I remember. So we bought a lot. Um, yeah, today at 16.63. There you go. So if we want to buy some more, uh, which I don't anymore. It's like that was it. One shot. We bought 25 shares of Apple. Okay, let's do the. Let's check for right now. Uh, portfolio that's an important moment right now we just opened 20 minutes ago normally there's a hype in the first 10 to 20 minutes so we're at the last bit I'm gonna close some I'm gonna close some windows because these windows take so much memory that, that, that my computer is slowing down and I have a super MacBook Pro that it's so slow the latest MacBook Pro with 32 gigabytes uh, RAM and you think it's going to fly, but it doesn't. And when I bought it, it said 10 hours of battery and I took it in, in, on the plane. After one hour, uh, the, the computer shut down. It had no battery. I took it to repair and they came back and it's still doing, doing the same. And it's heating up like a, like a, a vapor train machine, one of those old trains. So. I'm so disappointed with Apple. Uh, the best Apple I had was those that you had white and black before the metallic ones that were plastic. They didn't heat up so much, at least if they would heat up, you didn't feel it because it was plastic. But yeah, now it's totally different story. It's like a, an oven. I cook my uh, eggs and bacon in the morning here. So I'm going to click again because I don't see any big moves here and that's something I should have checked before because that means mostly our oh, okay it might be a different reason it's it might be that I need to reboot I'm gonna do okay I'm back here I just rebooted the website and uh, I can see it's very slow very slow so we have a few look like two, three days ago, LM Founding, it's a financial services uh, company with nine employees. So imagine, it's, it's crazy, nine employees and they move millions, probably billions. And uh, it was going up like 20, 22, 22 every day. And now it's falling. Yesterday, it fell down a lot too. But uh, yeah, those are companies going down. At the moment, I just leave them until they recover. If they recover, otherwise we lose whatever we had invested. So I'm changing my, my, my strategy completely now. So I'm trying not to put money in stocks that are not powerful stocks, okay? There's a book called Horse Sense. It says you have to uh, choose the good horses and it, that's... Uh, like saying for anything in your life, you choose the good things. So I can see Nicola, for example, that's not a good horse, but it has been doing pretty good after it 
touch bottom. And that was something to be expected. It might not be very ethical, but from a, 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 um, a trading point, it was something that, yeah, it was going to happen. <coughs> Then, uh, let's see, for example, Etsy is doing pretty good. And uh, let's see if we have uh, Nordstrom, Corvo, uh, Slack. Okay, very good. Tesla. Mercado Libre is doing very good. Advanced uh, micro devices. And here we have a few uh, little ones that... Uh, FedEx, look at that. <coughs> FedEx yesterday was doing good too. So, <coughs> Microsoft, Walmart. I saw Walmart taking off like crazy. I thought today it would be sold automatically, but uh, what we can do is change that order, okay? And at the moment, we can see that Walmart will. More, it's trading at 141, okay, 141, and if we put Walmart here, Walmart, it should sell at 144, so what I'll do, 141, I want 5% from the point where we are right now, because I know it's going up a lot, I'll put 79, uh, so 174.98, okay. We we'll leave it like that, and uh, we continue checking for any other stock that might be doing good and that we could sell to buy new stocks that are more um, powerful, let's say. So ideally, I would like to sell these stocks that have been giving loss for so long, and Cayon Petroleum, now it's at bottom rock. I mean, it went at one point at minus 54, I remember seeing it. And it has some hypes. It gets to 10, 11, like we just saw a minute ago. It was at 11. And then it falls again. So every time it has the hype, I try to sell a few. Okay. Here I see I have a lot, actually. So I could sell some. I could sell and we could check if we split the orders, because sometimes you cannot split the orders. Sometimes you can have different ones. Okay, in that case, I split orders. So uh, I'm selling at different levels, and that will sell when it's making some profit. So I'll leave it that way. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, now we're at 528, so we're far away from making any profit because it should, the, the, the lowest I have is 707. Uh, what we can do is say, look, uh, now we are at 528. If it goes up two percentage points more, uh, or, or two more even, let's say two more, 550, we sell it just to reduce some costs. Uh, <coughs> we're, we're selling at a loss. So uh, 550, uh, I mean, I can do two percentual points more, 560. It feels like it's so, it's going to be such a big loss. I'm going to do another percentual more and another more. It might go all the way there today. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, there you go. And see what happens. Uh, We're trying to recover some losses, and we have big losses, and the moment you sell it, you lose. So if you don't sell it, you still don't lose. But if they go bankrupt, or they change, or they swap um, uh, market, that's when you might ma make a mistake and, and lose a lot. And because then the value will drop by four or five, it depends. <coughs> so. As we can see, Tesla is not going anywhere. It's moving sideways. One big thing uh, uh, coming up for Tesla, actually, you know what? 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 Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And if you uh, like my humor and you like to trade and you like Tesla, please uh, consider subscribing. 
but uh, I was going to say something, but I'll say it in the next um, uh, video. Basically, something big is happening with Tesla, and that's why I thought it was going to go up again. And I'll tell you about that soon, okay? All this is in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, so please don't do anything I, I say and do your own research, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.